All right, you guys, last day here in Western Kenya, finishing it up. What a wonderful day it was. We had a baptism service, quite a few came, and we saw the joy of the Lord just overwhelm us. What a wonderful time we've had together. One of the messages that we preached, I believe it was yesterday, was about how good it is that brothers dwell together in unity. So if there's one thing I want to speak to all the Christians out there, is that things go so much better when we're here in one mind and one accord. We don't have our own agenda. When we don't have our own agenda and we're just seeking to please God. All these pastors that we've been working with, they've had a heart for God. They want to live for the Lord and please the Lord and serve the Lord. And um, just in spirit and in truth, and God's blessed the work of our hands. So it's just been so good. We've seen so many come to the Lord and profess faith in Jesus. We've handed out, I think, almost 600 Bibles. We've distributed food to dozens and dozens of families. Uh, we're not keeping numbers, but it's been a lot. And uh, we give all glory to God because, you know, God gives to us and we give back to Him. So this is where the kingdom of God is found. It's found in just, um, you know, being light and love and making a difference. If you can make the difference in just one person's life, it might motivate them to be a, an agent of change themselves. And if we can all help each other, no one will ever lack. And I think that's the beauty of God's kingdom. You can go anywhere in the world, you can find a brother and they will open up their home to you. They'll set you at their table and we can break bread together. And it is an amazing, beautiful thing. So we give glory unto our God. We lift up the name of Jesus Christ. What a banner it is that he has given us. We're going to wave that banner all over the world. We're going to keep going. God is faithful. You guys enjoy the journey with us, and I'll see you next time. We thank God for the nine days we have been with the man of God. It has <coughs> bore fruits. Now we have people we are baptizing today. We thank God for pastors from different churches. They have come together for this initiative, and we bless the Lord for what he's doing in this country in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This young lady was a Muslim, but now she belongs to Jesus. So today, in obedience to God's word and the command that Jesus has given to us, we baptize her in the name of Jesus Christ. And praise to walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. Okay, my friends, Doris Mboga has professed her faith in Jesus and what he has done for her. So in accordance to his word, by faith, we baptize her today in the name of Jesus Christ. And praise to Hallelujah. 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 So today we baptize Agala and Jandu in the name of Jesus Christ, buried in his death and raised to life. All right, Eugene is ready. Are we ready? Yes. So today, in the name of Jesus Christ, we baptize Eugene. Amen. Amen. So this young man, Crispus, has given his heart to God, professed his faith, ready for baptism. Are we ready? Yes. Are we ready? Yes. Kings and the Lord of Lords, and we baptize Christmas in the name of Jesus. Buried in His death and raised to walk in newness of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus has done for Immaculate Landa. Yes. So today we baptize her in the name of Jesus Christ.
What a joyful day it is. So many brothers and sisters here, so many good brothers here, pastors who are ready to lead from the front, not following, but leading from the front, being that example that we need here in Kenya. Lord, I pray that you would raise more of them up. Multiply your people, oh God. Multiply these young leaders, these young prayer warriors, these young evangelists, pastors, apostles, prophets, teachers. Send them out. That is our prayer. Thank you for praying for Torch of Christ Ministries. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.